Oh my goodness, guys. What is this? It is the third week of March. And we have snow falling down like crazy today. I really, really don't know what to think about this. I'm not sure if I like it. Um, so, uh, this is, I'm hoping this doesn't put any damper on some future plans of ours. Um, I'm hoping it doesn't last very long. It shouldn't, it's just supposed to last a couple days. But, this is some craziness. Well, Caitlin and I are off to track practice. We'll meet the other kids down there. Um, it is currently not snowing. It's raining. Softball practice was called off, but uh, so far we still have track. So we will see how that goes today. Here's to a kidless week, or part of a kidless week. The twins left this morning on their trip, and Susan and Gage are now going to go meet up with Granddad. And guess what? It's snowing again. Firefighter hat. It's mine. <laughs> he stole it. <laughs> Heather got to serve last night at the bank. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So what, 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 what's our plans now that we're kidless? <laughs> Get some projects done without being interrupted. <laughs> So something that helps me during the week is to do some food prep. So here I am um, starting off with some leeks. I'm going to chop them up really fine for the two meals that I'm doing. I'm going to make a meatloaf and I'm going to do a skillet meal. Um, then I'm going to take these bo both of these meals and I'm going to divide them up into portion size containers. I am going to freeze them and then during the week I will just pull them out before I go to work and um, eat them for lunch. So it keeps me accountable and it keeps me from eating the, um, the not so healthy food at work. For the meatloaf, I'm going to start with two eggs and I'm going to beat those up really well. I 
After that, I'm going to add some oat bran. I'm not measuring anything. I am just um, throwing ingredients in and kind of going with a feel. That's some kelp seasoning, salt and pepper. Sometimes I add more um, seasoning, sometimes I add less. This one I purposely just kept incredibly simple for time and just what I had on hand. Next, I'm gonna take half the meat I'm using and I'm just going to um, break it up into pieces and then mix it in with that egg mixture. Once it's well mixed, then I'm going to add my leeks and I'm going to uh, mix it in all again. Following that, I'm gonna put in some cheese. And then I'm going to add the rest of my meat and I am just going to fold that all in and then work it with my hands a little bit. For this meatloaf, I'm using my small eight inch little lodged uh, Dutch oven. And here I'm just going to form it into a ball and then press it evenly into the bottom of the pan. Um, then I'm going to throw it in the oven at 350 for about 30 or so minutes until it's done. So here's the skillet meal. I started off with some ground beef. I started uh, browning that, then I added my leeks stirred it in, cooked it for about five minutes. This is rice cauliflower that I'm adding now. Um, stir that in, um, cover it with a pan, cook it for about 10 or 15 minutes or so, just until everything is fully cooked and incorporated. And then I was gonna, well, I added some cheese after I gave it a stir recovered it with the lid and let it finish um, melting in for about another five minutes or so. So I'll apologize now. I did not get a picture of the meatloaf when it came out of the oven, but uh, it looked beautiful and it was delicious. So here's a picture of the finished skillet meal I am headed off to work and it is snowing. It is March 28th and snowing and it's wet and heavy so we'll see what the, more this brings. Hopefully it just melts off. It's not supposed to snow all day so we'll see. Absolute 
blast. And um, so it's it's been a blessing to be able to send them uh, this year. This is their first year going. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, right now I'm enjoying the weather. Yesterday it snowed. Um, I woke up, actually drove to work uh, to two inches of snow. Um, and it was like whiteout conditions going to work. It was the scariest drive. It's just a one mile drive, guys. It was the scariest one mile drive I have ever had just trying to get to work. Um, I managed to get to work safely and um, my coworker, she ended up in the ditch, but thank God she's okay and her truck's okay. Needs a little bit of repair, but all things considered, it could have been a whole lot worse. But that was just one of those freaky storms that rolls up in March, even though it's the last week of March. Anyway, um, so we'll see what the rest of this week brings. Um, hopefully the weather stays nice like it is today. Today is sunny and gorgeous. Susan. I don't have Gage because of course I miscommunicated with my parents <laughs> and he didn't bring his stuff so he's going back uh, to the South Oregon coast to do some more fishing and Susan and I are going on a girls trip so fun times yeah are you excited yes what's gonna be your favorite part do you think what do you think is gonna be your favorite part finishing my book finishing your book <laughs> What about spending time with mom? I don't know what we're doing yet. Because um, you haven't really told me. Um, okay. You told me I was taking pictures and You're I was reading pictures. my book. And you're reading your book. And what's mom doing? Um, you're throwing stuff. Throwing stuff. Okay. Alright. Well, I guess I will fill her in later. The plan is, is that tomorrow we're gonna go to Bend. Okay. And we don't have to be anywhere until Friday at noon. So. Wait, wait, tomorrow's Thursday. Tomorrow's so we Thursday. we get a whole entire day and a half. No, we get a whole entire, we don't get a whole entire day because we're gonna get there late tomorrow. Oh. Because it so takes five hours to drive there. So we get half a day to go and do some shopping and some seeing the sights of, of Bend, I guess. So, and then, yes, you need to, you get to take pictures, and you get to read your book. Do I get to and, take pictures of, like, where we're going, not just of you? Yeah. Throwing stuff? Mm, that sounds like fun. So, anyway, get to do that. And so that is the tentative plan, and then Sunday afternoon we'll come home. Okay. Late. So... And then I have to go to school. Yeah, then you have to go to school. And then it's my birthday after. Uh-huh, next week. Great. <laughs> Are you feeling old yet? No. No? Don't worry, she has a whole life to live. 